Today's English expression is up in the air. To say this expression in fast, natural, connected English, think of it in two parts. There's the up in and the the air. Let's start with up in. And we're going to join these two words together by moving the P, the consonant sound from the end of up to the front of the vowel sound I at the beginning of in. So it becomes up in, up in, and in one breath, up in. You try. For the next two words, the air, we're going to change how we pronounce the word the to the. This is almost always done in English when the word after the starts with a vowel sound, like it does here, air. So instead of saying the air, we're going to say the air the air. You try. And the reason we do that is it's just easier to say the air than it is the air. So up in the air has become up in the air. You try. To be up in the air means that a situation or a decision hasn't been made. It's uncertain what's going to happen. It's up in the air. It's used like this. Have you booked a holiday this year? No, I'm afraid our plans are still up in the air until we hear back from our travel agent. 